So what we're going to be looking at here is how we can get the name and break that up from the numbers that we have here in cell A. You can see at the bottom of the page here that I've put the formula that we're going to be using today over in quotation marks so that we can see it and you can follow along as we go on. So I'm just going to copy this up here and put this into this cell here for B and just get rid of these quotation marks here just so that we can actually see the formula in action as we move along. So we can see there that it's brought up the name Jeff, but how does this formula actually work then? So clicking into that there, we can see that we're going to be using the left function to start with. And we can see within that it has two arguments that we need. So we can see the first one is the cell, and then it's going to ask for the number of characters. We can see there then that it's going to say minimum, because uh, we want to find the minimum amount of characters. But we want to find them, so we don't know what these numbers are actually going to be. So within this then we've used the find function and you can see here that we have this squiggly line bracket. So this is just because we're using quite a few arguments within that so it would only normally take one argument but if you use them squiggly lines then you can add in quite a few different arguments. We're then going to say that we're looking for any of them within cell A2 and also we're looking for any of these numbers as well. So once we've done that, then we can see we've got the bracket to close the find function. And you can see it jump to the minimum. So we can see we've got a bracket for the minimum function. And then we want to go minus one as we want to have one less character than that because we don't want to include the first number. We can then press enter, click that, have to drop down and we can see there that we've removed the number. If you have a newer version of Excel, what we can do is we can type in the name and then press control and E and that should give you there the list and this is something called flash fill so you can just type it in now this doesn't always work which is why I provided the formula but obviously if you could just press Control and E and then let Excel do its work that's a hell of a lot quicker than kind of other ways so thanks for watching and see you again